What it do, y'all? This your boy King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe, hit the like button for me. So, this whole Meg the Stallion, Tory Lanez, aka Who Shot JR storyline has resurfaced once again. This time, Meg the Stallion has went on Gail King to tell her side of the story. And it says here, Tory Lanez had often alluded that a sexual dispute between Meg Thee Stallion and her former friend Kelsey led to a lead a shooting incident of July 2020. During the Stallion's interview with Gail King on CBS Mornings, the rapper states she never had a sexual relationship with Lanes. During the interview, King asked, did the Stallion and Lanes have a sexual friendship? The Stallion took a pause and replied, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. King would ask why Lanes would suggest they did. The stallion stated it was a deflect on the fact that he committed a crime. Lanes was arrested in court on Tuesday, April 5th, according to TMZ. Tory Lanes violated the protective order Levi against him in the case with Meg the Stallion. The violation was discussing the hot girl on Twitter. And you know what's crazy? I'm going to give my thoughts about this, man. First of all, I see the ploy right here when she's going to go on Gail King. And for some reason, Gail King seems to be the bridge that a lot of black women go to with their anti-black man agenda. That's why I've not been a fan of Meg Thee Stallion. She's the one that started that whole protect the black woman routine. That whole black woman, the protect the black woman agenda. And that brought for the division. And now you got people that are out there on some Oh, if you don't think that Tory shot Meg, you don't believe in protecting a black woman. Oh, you don't believe in, you don't even like black women. Y'all have to stop pretty much putting celebrity storylines and headlines in y'all own personal agendas. That's for starters. Just because the general public is investigating both sides and both sides of the people of integrity, doesn't mean we hate black women. Let's stop that shit right there. Y'all sit there and run campaigns on Tory. I'm not defending Tory either, but you run and defend. Y'all ran smut campaigns on him. Y'all had the industry ganging up on him. Now, if he did the crime, he did the time. He should. He should. He should either be the porter. He should pay the price. I've said that from the beginning of this. But if she's lying, we're gonna have to take that to task. And y'all got to stop jumping on emotions. So let's look at the case. And this is what gave me some indication that something isn't right here. Days after she got shot, she's twerking on top of a table. What it looks like to me is this whole shooting took place at Kylie Jenner's house. One of the biggest celebrities out in the world. So you mean to tell me. With all this, with, no, with all those witnesses at a college dinner party, you don't have no cameras, you don't have no witnesses, nobody can tell you anything at an industry party like this. So Tory puts out an album defending his name, telling his side of the story in different ways that he didn't do it. Somebody else did it. So, what is going on here? You don't have no surveillance going on out here? You don't have nothing in 2020? Nobody brought their camera phones out here to, to, to even show a gun? I don't think he did it personally, but I'm going to tell y'all what I think happened. There was an argument between those two. Tori probably slept with um, Meg's friend. Meg caught feelings. She drinks. And you know when you know when somebody get drunk to get in their feelings. There was gun there was a gun around. They probably was fighting over the gun. And the girl, who happened to be their friend, tried to probably take the gun and shot Meg in the foot. And so now, ironically enough, Tory likes her, so he wants to take the rap for her. He don't want nothing to happen. But you know, I'm going to tell you what this looks like to me. This is eerily similar 
to Chris Brown and Rihanna. And let me tell y'all something else, and this me y'all may disagree on this. I don't think Chris Brown even did that shit. I don't. What happened was somebody else probably did that, and Chris Brown had to take the rap. To stay in the game, you gotta take the rap. He had to wear that, he had to wear that on his sleeve. And look what happened to Rihanna afterward. That's like a, a, a ritual. Look what happened to Rihanna afterwards. Her stock went up. She had all these women groups pandering to her. She got all these cover girl brands coming to her. She had all of these companies and endorsements wanting to aid her. She's a billionaire now. Whereas Chris, he did good for himself. He had a great career, but at the same time, he his career couldn't have been bigger than it is now. It could have been way bigger. So he had to wear that on his sleeve. Somebody else did that. I believe that. Because you mean to tell me you at the Grammys and nobody seen nothing? Nobody knows nothing? It's the same thing here. And look what Meg, and look, and look, Meg, she's getting endorsements out the ass now. Now she's getting endorsements from all these different corporations. She's getting endorsements from all these um, women groups. Rock Nation is really pushing that line for It's really benefiting her. Whereas Tory Lanez, he's an independent artist. Ironically, in the same vein as Chris Bryant. So this situation is helping Meg. Like to get on Gail King, that's major. It's benefiting her. And Tory, he didn't do it, but he has to take the rap. He got to wear that. He got to. He got to bear that cross. He got to bear that cross, just like Chris Brown had to do. So the truth is going to come out eventually. And I wish people would just stop getting out of their emotions about this. Like, hear both sides out and come to a conclusion. Stop jumping the gun because oh, that's a woman. Because when it comes, when the truth really comes out, you come out looking stupid. It's the same thing with the fellas, man. Like, look, don't jump the gun too fast. Evaluate the situation and then come with a conclusion and opinion. So that's my thoughts about this. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.